before we jump in, I just want to mention that this video was actually requested by one of my viewers. If you have any video requests, feel free to drop them in the comments. Alright, so I've already brought in the different video clips onto my timeline. Let's move on to the first transition. We're going to trim the first clip right when our subject hits the heavy bag with his knee. Make sure to close at gap 2. Let's take a look. Yep, that looks good. Now, for the second clip, we'll cut it right as the baseball player makes contact with the ball. In between those cuts, we're going to drop in a shattered glass overlay. By the way, you can download all project-related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. Next, to get rid of that black background, select the overlay and change the blend mode to screen. Play it back, and you might notice the glass is shattering a bit early before the knee strike. So, let's tweak the position of the overlay. That looks better now. Now, onto the second transition. We're going to repeat the same steps as before, but with a different shattered glass overlay. Play it back and make any necessary adjustments if needed. Those are fairly simple. Now let's get into something a bit more complex. I've already lined up the clips. Again, find the exact frame where the person kicks the soccer ball and drop in the green screen shattered glass overlay. You can trim out the rest of the video clip. Then, select the overlay and head over to the effects panel. Search for the ultra key effect and double click to apply it. Go to the effect controls panel and use the eyedropper tool to pick the green color from the overlay. Notice, password is click02. When you play it back, you might notice the transition isn't quite there yet. To fix this, select both video tracks and nest them. Move the nested clip to video track 2, and at the moment the glass shatters, place your second clip at that frame. Now we need to remove the black color. So let's add the color key effect to our nested clip. From effect controls panel, use the eyedropper tool to pick the black color. Adjust the tolerance value, 15 works for me, and set edge thin to 1. And this is what you will end up with. 